This is an advanced tutorial of the Viking software and we'll be focusing on the functions and features on the home page. We'll cover the timeline editor and editing of individual macros in a later video. If you need more help on this, please contact us through the support ticket system or contact us or other customers on the Viking forums at www.vikingforums.com. When you first launch the home page, the main icons up here in the upper left, there's a game pad. That's always going to bring you back to the home page. Timeline editor, film strip icon here will take you to the individual macro editor. Uh, these gears up here, this is a check for updates button. This is going to run automatically if you're connected to the internet anyway. And uh, the most important button of all, the help button. This is going to describe a lot of the different icons and features available. So anytime you're stumped, not quite sure what something is, uh, try checking the instructions here. should tell you what the function or feature does. On the home page we've got small gray circles here. These are letters indicating the button LT left trigger, RT right trigger, LB left bumper, RB right bumper, XYAB, uh, LS is for the left stick press, RS for the right stick press, D-pad up down left right arrows, and of course our tactile switches we've got six in total. LT1, LT2, LT3 are the left tack switches number one, two, and three. And of course the same on the right side, RT1, RT2, RT3 are right tactile switches 1, 2, and 3. If you put the mouse on any one of these gray buttons, you'll see a uh, selection wheel appear. And uh, for example, I'm going to open a macro. We, these are a bunch of macros I've downloaded off the library onto my hard drive already. I'm going to grab my uh, 10 shots per second rapid fire macro. You'll see the description of the macro show up here and that button's going to turn green to indicate that you've got a macro sign. So anytime I pull the right trigger, I'm going to get rapid fire. You may not want it all the time. There's uh, one way to accomplish control over that, and that is through the use of a toggle button. So let's go down to the right tack switch one, bring up the selection wheel, and uh, grab this little bullseye for toggle macro on and off. There's some options here. I want to toggle the macro I've assigned to the right trigger, and I want to indicate that on the player four LED. So anytime I tap this right tack switch one, LED four is going to turn on and off. And that's going to show me whether or not this macro I've assigned to the right trigger is active. So you might tap the right tack switch, LED four comes on, you can pull the right trigger and uh, get your rapid fire. And then when you're done, you want it off, you just tap this tack switch one more time, the LED will go off. And then when you pull the right trigger, you're going to get regular fire. Let's look at uh, some of the other options available on the wheel here. Uh, I'm going to go down to left tack switch three. There's a left arrow, that's a page left. And uh, that has to do with the multiple pages we can set up. So we'll get that, uh, we'll explain that in a minute. Um, button reassignment. If you want to use, let's say, this left tack switch one, uh, and you want to mimic the right stick press, let's say the left stick press because you're, uh, let's in like Call of Duty, for example, you have to press the left stick to uh, sprint. It's a little hard to press, it hurts your thumb after a while. Maybe you just want to map this to the left tack switch instead. So, um, Again, you can assign macros directly to this ta these tactile switches if you'd like. Um, we've also got a macro recording. So if you, want to, if you want to record your own macros, you'll use this macro recording button. And that's going to pop up and require you to also select a playback button. And the, the reason for that is, is after you're done recording, uh, you'll have a playback button there and then you can play back the macro you just recorded to test it out. So in this case I'm going to assign that to the right tack switch too. So now anytime I hit left tack 2 it's going to start start recording and stop recording when I hit it again. Right tack 2 is uh, going to play back that uh, macro that I just recorded. That pretty much covers the basic functions of the wheel here. I'd like to talk a little bit more about these pages up here. So at the top, you'll notice five dots. Each dot represents a different page. So if I uh, click on page two here, you can see all of the macros and features I assigned disappeared. That's because I'm on page two. So each page lets you set up a completely different set of macros. And all of these pages together, when you save, save as one, one big macro set. And uh, you can, uh, this is this page, these page buttons are what you use to edit your LED colors. So for example, if I don't want my page one to be red, you can right click on this button and uh, select blue. Once you've selected it, right click on that again to make the uh, color picker disappear. Same thing, maybe I don't want green as my second page, um, you know, I prefer yellow, and so on. You can pick up to five pages. And of course, if you pick multiple pages, 
you need to have a page, at least a page left or a page right button. Sometimes I like to use both so I can scroll through all the pages. For example, if you go to the left uh, page here, if you forget to assign a page left or a page right button, you're going to be stuck on that page when you're when you're actually playing with your gamepad. So don't forget to uh, assign those page changing buttons. Let me just go through here and uh, I'm just going to assign those to the tax switches on the bottom of my controller on every page. Now let's see, what are my colors here? Blue page, yellow page, uh, I got blue page again, let's change that to a purple. I got yellow again, let's uh, make that a green. And I got uh, purple at the end, oh, I got purple twice. Let's uh, pick a nice uh, cyan here. Okay, um, it's just kind of more of the same, you can uh, set up different macros. For example, here on page blue, I've got my rapid fire on my right trigger for 10 shots per second. Maybe on uh, on page two, I want jitter mod. Then maybe on uh, the purple page, um, I want anti-recoil for my Barrett on the next page. Maybe I want uh, akimbo firing. That's that dual trigger akimbo rapid fire instead of just rapid fire. So just some examples there. I think that about wraps up the features on the home page. We'll get uh, probably more into this in the next tutorial video where we cover the timeline editor. Uh, there's a lot of features where you need to understand what's going on with both, so check out that video. Thanks.